And the point of the harbingers, the point of the harbinger is not to consign America to judgment, but to wake up America from judgment. That's the heart of God. God is calling. God's heart is that none should perish. If you are scared and you say, well, how can I be safe in these days? The answer is in Hebrew. In Hebrew, the word for safety is Yeshua. And Yeshua is Jesus, and Jesus is our safety. Outside of him, there's no safety. Inside of him, there's no fear. Jesus, you know, the answer is not the president, not the Congress, not the government, not any of that. The answer is still Jesus, the only light, the only hope of this nation, and the only hope of our lives. So people say, well, well, you know, is there hope? I say, of course, if, as long as there's God, there's hope. And, as, and if there was no hope, there'd be no harbingers. What's the point of warning if there's no hope? But the thing is this, the church is called to be the light and if the church of America was to be the light of America, if we had been the light as the church was supposed to be, it could never have gotten this dark. If the church had been the salt to America, it could never, the culture could never have gotten this rotten. And so God is calling the church. This is not just for America. God is calling a wake up call for the church. And here's the thing. Revival cannot begin with anyone but us. Revival begins with us, or it doesn't begin at all. And we are not only to pray for revival, we need to be living in revival. We need to be, each of us, saying we are going to walk in revival. Because revi no one can stop revival if it begins in you. And so the time is late. If there is anything in your life that does not belong in the life of a saint, it is under judgment, don't say tomorrow, it is today, get it out of your life. Say, get it out once and for all. Whatever is not of God, get it out once and for all, and God will bless you. And whatever is not in your life that God is calling for your life, but you haven't said yes, you haven't risen, and you know it, now is the time, not tomorrow, to say, I will do it. Take the step today. You see, the key words are given. They were given linked to that mystery ground when Solomon prayed at the Temple Mount. He said, Lord, if the nation turns away from you, bring them back. If, they, if you judge them, have mercy on them. And so then God answers Solomon in the night. The Bible says he gives the answer and he said, Solomon, the answer is this. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their evil ways, I will hear from heaven, I will forgive their sin, and I will heal their land. The key words are, if my people, if my people, us, and not just my people, but if the whole thing is hanging. And don't say, I can't rise to God's call. God put you in your mother's womb for such a time as this. There are no mistakes. God put you in the end times. Not so you would fear. If you're outside of God, people say, should I fear? If you're outside of God, fear and get inside of God. If you're inside of God, get more inside of God. Get everything inside of God because God called you for this day. The Bible says the eyes of the Lord search the entire earth. His heart is completely his. And he's going to take that one and he's going to lift up that one. He's going to take that people, take that congregation and lift up those people. You be that one. You be that people. And God will do it. The eyes of the Lord, the Lord is saying, God says it's time to get more serious than we've been before. Time to get consecrated. Time to get strong. Time to get radical. Time to do what you know God is calling you to do and not say tomorrow, but today is the day of salvation. It begins with us now. The Bible says, for thus says the Lord, thus says the Lord, kumi ori kiva orech uchvod Adonai alayach zarach, arise people of God, arise man of God, arise woman of God, and shine for your light has come and the glory of the Lord is upon you and nations will come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising. Arise in God and God will shine in you in the name of the glory of Yeshua HaMashiach, the light of the world and the glory of Israel. Heaven and earth shall pass away but my words shall not pass away. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life, and so that day come upon you unawares. 
For as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch ye therefore, and pray always, that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass, and to stand before the Son of Man. The instructions the Lord Jesus Christ gave us is that we should pray that we are able to stand before the Son of Man. My friend, no one is able to stand before the Son of Man unless he is washed in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. There are none righteous, no, not one. We have all sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Let us pray now together and ask Almighty God to forgive our sin and wash us in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Just follow after me in prayer, but pray with your own faith and your own sincerity. Father God, that's right, just pray in faith after me. Father God, I ask you now to forgive all of my sin and wash me in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ and make me holy unto you. Baptize me now in the Holy Spirit and give me more power to resist temptations. I acknowledge that the Lord Jesus Christ died on the cross to pay for my sin and is soon to return. I forgive all of those people that I have resented or hated and I receive from you the free gift of salvation. I dedicate my life and commit my spirit to you I ask you now to keep me strong in the time of testing and help me to stand before the Son of Man. I receive that as done. Amen. Amen and amen. We praise you, Father. Let's pray. Let's stand. Father, we praise you this, this morning. We praise you. And Father, we ask your hand upon each one here, Lord, that we would not only pray for revival, which we will, but that each of us, we commit to doing whatever we need to do in our lives to be walking in revival. Lord, whatever that thing is, we have to get out of our life. We make the decision now. We cut it off. We say goodbye. And we will do it. Lord, we'll take the step today. And whatever we need to rule into our lives that's not there now that you're calling, we say, yes, Lord. In Hebrew, we say, hineni, here I am, Lord. Use me, send me, have your way. Lord, cleanse us, sanctify us, and use us for your glory. We want to be used for such a time as this. We want to fulfill the calling you gave us. So have your way, anoint your people. And Lord, have mercy on this land. Have your way. Touch the White House, touch the Capitol, touch the cities, touch the coast, touch the heartland. Let there be revival, no matter what it takes. Have your way in the name of Yeshua, Jesus, the Messiah. And we say, amen, amen. But I want to give you the blessing that was given in the Bible. And these are the words God himself gave. This is the only prayer that we know that he so specifically wrote. And he said, when you give this, he said, Aaron and his sons, when you give this to the people of Israel, you will be placing my name upon them. You'll be putting my name. And so this was given by the, 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 the sons of Aaron. My fathers are from the sons of Aaron. They used to do this in the temple to God's people. Well, the Bible says you are God's people. You are grafted in together. The Bible even says if you're born again, you are a citizen of Israel. And so this blessing is yours. Please lift up your hands. Close your eyes. Right after this, I'll, I'll meet you over there. But I want to I wanna give this to you as I want to leave without, without this. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord calls his face to shine on your life and give you the outpouring of his grace for every moment that you need it. The Lord lift up the glory of his shining on your life, on your home, on the works of your hands. And the Lord give you shalom, life, fullness, peace, all the blessings of his love. B'Shem Yeshua HaMashiach. In the name above all names, the name of Jesus the Messiah. 
Or Haolam, the light of the world. Uchvod Yisrael, the glory of Israel. Ba'ari, Yehuda, and the lion of the tribe of Judah. In his name, and we all say, Amen and Amen. God bless you.